today we are receiving Prem Hawat in Sao Paulo, in Brazil. The communitarian TV channels here in Brazil are very proud in distributing this kind of TV production and uh, we will be working together to touch more and more people. I was watching TV and looking for channels, I received a TV open in which Prem Rawat was giving a speech, giving a message. A princípio não entendi direito, mas depois o assunto foi me atraindo, atraindo e prendeu totalmente minha atenção. O mundo precisa de pessoas como Prem Hawat, que tragam palavras que vitalizem o ser, que tragam uma grande autoestima, que tragam uma esperança de vida. Com 75 anos, eu fui aprender como encontrar a paz, através da respiração, ouvindo o toque-toque do coração, dizendo, você vive, você vive, você vive. Então, nós vivemos. Hoje, temos a oportunidade de participar de uma cerimônia única. É a cerimônia da iluminação da chama da paz que marca o lançamento do Terceiro Festival Mundial da Paz. Senhoras e senhores, Prêmio Rawat. Today, I'm going to talk about what I always talk about, and that is peace. Because peace cannot be some abstract idea. It has to be real. And too many people use the word peace when they mean something else. They use the word peace in political terms, political peace, referring to absence of war. Now for me, it's very simple. If you are driving on the road, and all of a sudden, you start hearing a really bad noise, and the car is going out of control, what do you do? Do you say, oh, let's put cotton in our ears so we won't hear the bad noise, and let's close our eyes so we won't see it's going out of control? That's not what we do. What we do is we stop the car and we look, what's wrong? What's wrong? And if we find a tire that is flat, then we know, okay, this is the problem, we need to fix it. Look at the world today. There's more wealth in this world today than there ever was. There's more educated people on the face of this earth today, and I mean educated meaning just quote unquote educated, than there ever were. There is more information available to people than ever was. And the world is in chaos more than it ever was. So, somebody has to ask, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's me. I'd be glad if you did it. Because I think everybody needs to do it. Is to ask the question. What is wrong? Look at this universe. You 
are a part of this universe. You're not the universe. You're part of this universe. The same elements that go on to make the galaxy, the planets, the stars, the whole nine yards. <laughs> That's what this is. 70% water. That's a big percentage. 70% water. Boy, that other 30% can do a lot of talking. Because, I mean, if we are water, we should sound like trying to talk in a, you know, a soda bottle. Blah, 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 <laughs> The 70% water, the other 30% is like, hmm. The e I mean, I've never seen water have ego. Hey, hey, you, 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 you cannot come into me, uh, uh, I am only for citizens of this country. I've never seen that. You go to the ocean, come on in. Rich, poor, good, bad, right, wrong. No, no, no. So it's that other 30%. Oh, you are from that country. You are that color. Oh, you are rich. You are educated. You're uneducated. You're this. You're that. That 30% is causing a lot of problems. Or is it that that's what we practice the most? That's what we are told. That's what we are taught. Simplicity is, simplicity is just look at yourself. Who are you? What are you? On one hand, of course this is dark. On the other hand, there's the miracle of miracle happens that this dirt can talk, this dirt can think, this dirt can see, this dirt can love, this dirt can feel. That's the miracle. That's the miracle. You can understand. You can comprehend. You can feel. Question is, what do you practice feeling? Good or bad? <laughs> if you practice feeling bad, you get good at it. Doesn't take much and you can feel bad. And what does it take to practice feeling? I'm not talking about death. Don't mistake me. I'm not talking about death. I'm talking about life. I am not fascinated by death. I'm fascinated by life. Death, I've, the, my definition of that is, it's going to happen. You don't have to make an appointment. It's automatic. You don't have to make an appointment. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to push a button. You don't have to make a phone call. You don't have to put anything in your computer. It will happen. So don't worry about it. If you have to worry about anything, then be worried about now. You are bound by time, as is everything in this universe. It's not the same time. It's accelerated some places, decelerated some places. But everything is bound by time. Except for one thing.
And that is the timeless that resides in you. That is the only thing that is not bound by time. But do you know we share three things off the bat? Same for everybody. Everybody. Everybody in the world. Share it. Exactly the same for all of us. Birth, life, death. We are all friends in the realm of existence. We all came from the same place. Welcome then in your life this moment of existence. And I pray that you become good at it. Welcome then In your life, peace. Because that's the address of peace. Now. That's where peace resides. If a stone starts giving milk, it's a miracle, right? Would you like to drink it? Why is it a miracle if stone gives milk? And why isn't it a miracle when a cow gives milk? Because the cow eats green grass and gives white milk. <laughs> you are alive, that's a miracle. You see another human being. You see another human being. You should be in awe. Wow, a miracle. Look. Dirt is walking, talking, <laughs> dancing, thinking. Wow. No, no, who is he? Is he going to hurt me? Does he want my purse? Does he have a gun? And a lot of people tell me, oh, things you talk about are impossible. I know one thing. All that behavior of robbing, killing each other, lying to each other. Do you know one thing? It's all learned. It's all learned behavior. And if it is learned behavior, somebody taught that behavior. The good news is, if that is learned behavior, then the behavior of admiration can also be learned. Heart of a human being is a heart of a human being. And no matter how much contamination is out here, that heart stays pure.
And that is simply genius engineering. Genius. The heart of a human being will never be contaminated. And because of this engineering, there is hope. Always will be. And it begins with every single one of us in this world. One lamb at a time. You look at a city at night, it looks beautiful, you know, glittering and all. Do you know that's just one bulb there and 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 next thing you know the whole city is just one bulb at a time on gives it that look. Gives it that look. Stadiums, big lights. You know what it is? One light here, next to it another one, next to it another one, next to it one, 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 one. What I said to you tonight comes from my heart. Comes from my heart. Not a speech that I wrote not a speech that I memorized comes from my heart. Open your hearts too. You have learned how to open your mind. Now time has come in your life to open your hearts. Why? So you can enjoy its beauty. That's a good enough reason. Plenty good reason. The idea of having peace on this earth has always existed. Always existed. But never given a chance. Time has come to fully give it a chance. Yes, there is a lot of bad in this world. A lot. No question about it. But then, there is something very good in every human being. If you want to remove the darkness, light the lamp. Don't buy a bucket. Don't buy a sponge. You won't be able to use the sponge to take away the darkness. I will soak it. I will go into the dark room. I will squeeze the sponge. I will release it. Then I'll take it outside and I'll go like this. And when all the darkness is removed, there will be light, right? Wrong. That's not how you bring light. Light the lamp. And the darkness will be. O terceiro Festival da Paz, que vai acontecer aqui na cidade de São Paulo, é, tem a nossa parceria. Né? A, na, a Municipalidade de São Paulo é parceira do festival. E a gente vem acompanhando o festival desde a sua primeira edição. É uma oportunidade da gente falar é, para todos sobre essa possibilidade de vivermos juntos a paz nesse planeta. É. E o Prenhawat traz essa mensagem de que a paz começa em cada um de nós, né? E que eu preciso cuidar de mim antes de cuidar do outro. É, então ele tem total sintonia com a mensagem de Prenhawat tem total sintonia com o festival. I think peace for me is no separation, no division, no comparison. It's the unity. A chama será 
iluminada neste momento e quero convocar o coração de todos para sermos testemunhas e também para sermos coautores da iluminação da Chama da Paz como lançamento oficial do terceiro Festival Mundial da Paz. Ela vai partir das quatro direções do Brasil, norte, sul, leste e oeste, e desta vez ela vai passar por todos os municípios brasileiros. Eu fico imaginando que talvez no quarto festival a gente consiga passar por todos os países. Amém. Eu quero expressar o meu desejo de que esta chama possa aquecer e habitar o coração de toda a humanidade. Paz, paz e paz. Gostaríamos de convidar o embaixador da paz, Prêmio Rawat. Please, uh, it now gives me good pleasure to light the flame of peace and declare the Festival of Peace Day officially open. <laughs> 